there is no doubt that Elon Musk is building a massive plant for his electric cars, and we are all excited to see how it'll turn out. Want to know more about it? Stay tuned to find out about the new gigafactories in planning, as well as how Tesla speeds up the building. With a focus on scaling production to levels that Elon Musk has described as extreme size, Tesla's advanced manufacturing plants will provide the backbone of its infrastructure over the years to come. In the first half of this year, two new gigafactories were bought online and began taking customers' orders. As production ramps up in Berlin and Austin over the coming months, we will watch a development with great interest. We know, though, that Elon Musk and Tesla won't be content with the status quo. Probably, there won't even be a break in construction before another factory begins somewhere else, and perhaps more than one. Tesla had just completed building two factories at the same time. Can they build three? Where on earth would all of that construction happen? I'm sure there are some things that we know. Despite all that we know and we think we know, there are many things we don't know as well. Therefore, it's time to figure out and theorize where Tesla will probably construct its next gigafactory. As we begin our year-long journey around the world, we stop in Indonesia for a short stopover. Giga Texas is home to a delegation of Indonesian officials, which Elon Musk recently hosted. It was clear from what we have seen and heard about the meeting that they all got along just fine. There are a lot of discussions going on between Elon Musk and Southeast Asian governments about Indonesia being a good location for a car factory. And you might be surprised at some of the stuff they have in here, because they have a bit of history. At least that's what surprised me. The Minister for Economic Affairs of Indonesia met with Elon Musk on April 26th to discuss Tesla's prospects for nickel mining and battery manufacturing in Indonesia. Elon was also joined by a variety of businessmen and state officials who laughed loudly at his bad jokes and seemed delighted to meet him. According to Pandu Jahir, company director of Elon Indonesia, the company was very enthusiastic about the prospect of discussing the nickel and electric vehicle industries in Indonesia. As a result of this meeting, Indonesia may be able to attract more high-tech investments and become a major supplier of electric vehicles to the global market. Regarding nickel, Indonesia is home to the world's largest known nickel deposit. In addition, its mining industry produces the greatest quantity of nickel in the world. Among Indonesia's nickel reserves, the United States Geological Service reports 21 million metric tons, while the global reserve stands at 89 million tons. Their capacity is up to 800,000 tons per year. The reason these people get special attention from Elon is that we know how much the man appreciates nickel. Further, there have been public appeals to nickel-producing companies around the world by Elon Musk, and this element is crucial to the new 4680 battery cell chemistry being developed by the company. For Tesla to be built in mass quantities, nickel will also need to be abundant. Elon is proactive and will not wait for resources to come to him, and that he'll act on them immediately when they become available, so he's going out on his own to secure them. In this regard, Tesla's ongoing project in New Caledonia is a good example. The chairman of Indonesia's Chamber of Trade and Industry explicitly states that the nation supports Elon Musk's vision of sustainability. He stated, Our goal is to convince Tesla to explore cooperation with Indonesia regarding the nickel supply and processing to make battery cells based on good and sustainable environment, social, and governance. It is clear that some key points have been lost in translation, but we still know what was meant. The Indonesians and Elon have earlier had the same conversation. It appears almost exactly one year ago that there was about to be a nickel deal between the two companies, but for some reason, it never happened. It wasn't until Russia decided to destabilize the global economy that things turned bad. Therefore, it is not surprising to see Elon Musk back at the negotiating table. Also, the Indonesians are known to be making serious efforts to court Elon Musk. In addition to pretending his jokes are funny, Indonesia's president has personally offered him an island for the launch site of SpaceX. Moreover, it was reported by the BBC and then by the New York Times, so it must be true. Indonesia is seeking to convert the island of Baia into a spaceport. The government was considering building a launch facility on the island in the 1980s, but eventually decided not to. 
and now Elon Musk should take over and fulfill that vision. Then, there is nothing but an open ocean on the east side of the equator, so it's a prime location. However, it's also worth pointing out that this is not some remote island. 100,000 people are living on the hereditary land there, and they don't like the idea of using the island for rocket launching. Getting to the heart of the matter, I can understand their perspective. Are you thinking that Tesla and SpaceX are going to open shops in Indonesia anytime soon? In India, where there have been long-standing rumors that Tesla would build a new factory, we can continue riding the speculation train. The first trigger came with the news that Tesla Motors has established a new unit in India as well as hiring for top positions there. The Indian Transport Minister stated in an interview in March 2021, the government will make sure the production cost for Tesla will be the lowest when compared with the world, even China, when they start manufacturing their cars in India. We will assure that. In other words, this sounds like a pretty sweet deal. However, the Indians are trying hard to ensure that Tesla suffers the greatest penalty for not building their cars in India. In essence, India strives to grow their economy as well as build a more sustainable industry that is fair. In addition, they tax any product that is not made in India as a way to incentivize companies to manufacture in India, and Tesla vehicles are taxed at 110%. That makes selling Teslas all but impossible there. A recent interview conducted by the transport minister on May 2nd stated, If Elon Musk is ready to manufacture in India, then there is no problem. Come to India, start manufacturing in India. India is a large market if they can export from India. Elon last spoke about this subject in July 2021. He wrote on Twitter, If Tesla can succeed with imported vehicles, then a factory in India is quite likely. Therefore, Elon wants to build the factory after he sells cars. They don't want him to sell cars until the factory is built. There doesn't seem to be much room for compromise there. Now, let's turn our attention to Giga Shanghai, the sequel, which we are very hopeful will be an Empire Strikes Back sequel. Tesla sent a letter on May 1st to Chinese authorities, obtained by Reuters, according to that letter, and I quote, The company will build a new plant on a nearby land in the same area, which is poised to add an annual capacity of 450,000 cars, including Model 3s and Model Ys, becoming the world's largest vehicle export hub. That would mean 1.5 million cars per year if the existing Shanghai factory just maintained its pre-lockdown production rate. China could be making well over 2 million Tesla vehicles per year if the OG Giga Shanghai continues to ramp up capacity, as it has over the past year. Tesla's Chinese officials are eager to assist Tesla in any way they can. We know from the same letter. They express their gratitude to the state-owned firm, Linggang Group, for arranging buses for the 6,000 Giga Shanghai employees and suppliers. As part of its efforts, Tesla performed a disinfection work to make sure Giga Shanghai is a closed-loop system. The Shanghai government has been urging Tesla to reopen and remain open even as it imposes the tightest lockdowns in the world. It is unfortunate to have all but confirmed this, but it also sheds a bright light on other new information we received recently. Could another Giga Berlin sequel be in the works? Tesla has purchased more land near Giga Berlin, according to a tweet from Troy Teslike. Is that something that Tesla is going to do there? Even getting the first one built was tough, and it's still being protested against by fake environmentalists who try to shut it down and shut it down all the time. Yet, stranger things have happened. Furthermore, the potential for growth in Berlin is endless at this point. Not just with cars, but also with power walls, megapacks, solar panels, as well as the whole library of Tesla products. Making us wonder if the real goal isn't just to take it all. They will double the amount and also own a lot of land around the Austin factory. The building there might be one of the biggest in the world, but there is still room for many more. And it's quite obvious that Giga Texas would be the least likely candidate for an expansion since they've barely begun to fill their existing mill. It's still largely empty, where semi-production lines and cyber trucks are waiting to be built. Nonetheless, if you think long-term, something new is going to be built. The expansions will speed up to produce more cars. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe with a post notification so you don't miss out on Tesla era.